Gareth at NEMA, our exec producer, actually did give me a, a, a heads up of, of what was going to happen about a week before I got the script. Um, so obviously as an actress I was really pleased and also I was really proud of the show for tackling a subject like this because I think it's a really brave thing to do and mm. um, and I, I really do believe that Julian's you know, written that in a, in, a, in a way that is you know, not gratuitous at all, that is, you know, he does very, you know, he does go into very much explore the, mm. you know, the emotional journey of, of Anna and Bates after after this event as well. And, and I think he's done a beautiful job at, at hitting the right note mm. with it. So I think, um, you know, we all just felt a big responsibility to get, to get it right, you know. And did you, um, were the responsibilities around filming it and what was shown and what was alluded to? Yeah, absolutely. Julian, um, and you know, this is again a credit to him, was adamant that you know we wouldn't depict mm. that kind of violence against mm. a woman on the screen, and mm. it, that's something he didn't want in a show of his that he's a part of. And um, you know, and, and that's an incredible thing, really, in this industry in this day and age. You know, and and the shock value was there. You know, without having to depict anything graphic. You know, the story is shocking enough, and, and as it should be, you know, for a story of, yeah. of that essence. And, and after you'd read about it and before you'd filmed it, did you look into this as an issue at that time? Yes. And how uh, people like Anna would have been completely unable to speak out, speak up, defend herself? You know, what did you discover about that? Yeah, it was very interesting because, you know, it's, it's obviously, you know, as a woman and, and, you know, we still are dealing with those issues mm. in this day and age and, and, you know, and I did a lot of research on the internet, reading people's stories that have been through similar situations and, and, feel, and women that hadn't um, gone to the police in, in this day and age because they felt that they were in a situation that, that, that came across as being vague when they were going to explain it. So, mm. you know, they were maybe at a party or it was somebody they knew and, and they were very confused by what happened to them. Now, what I wanted to do, or kind of what I wanted to get into my head as an actress, was to, you know, bring that to this time period. And Alistair Bruce, our historical advisor, was really great at, you know, talking me through, um, you know, just the enormity of, of what's happened to Anna in that time period. Mm -hmm. Because for a woman, you know, in the early part of the last century, um, she didn't really, a woman didn't really have a lot of rights. You know, they'd only just got the vote, and that was only for women over 30. So in my head, I, you know, I wanted her to tell someone, of course mm -hmm. I did, but I, I needed to know why she didn't. And Alistair said to me, you know, as a woman in that age, you really just, all you had was your reputation, mm -hmm. um, you know, your career possibly if you had a job, and your family. And there was still such a stigma attached to any kind of attack like this that you were, you know, very much in, in, in danger of losing all of that. Mm. And as a woman, if a woman lost her reputation, that would bring shame upon the house. She could lose her job. She mm. could lose her husband. Um, and society still saw it as no smoke without fire, as, well, he's only a man. He couldn't help himself. Mm. So it was very interesting to see that's only, you know, 100 years ago. And